so the recording is being started okay uh, so uh, today as i mentioned we will be speaking about the cardiology or about the heart just about mm -hmm. the heart but the heart is located in the chest or the thoracic cavity it is protected it is surrounded by the bones the ribs these are the ribs this is the sternum okay it protect the hearts and the other tissue like lungs but heart is also protected by the lungs as well these are your lungs okay this is the right lung this is the left lung but today's lecture is about the heart only we will just talk about the heart and its vessels so heart is located in the chest in a cavity this cavity is called mediastinum whenever someone asks you where is heart located you will say it is located in chest in a cavity which is called mediastinum okay so let's define med mediastinum again the cavity between the lungs or the pleura which contain the heart major vessels esophagus okay and the nerves so you can see clearly here this is the colored one is your mediastinal cavity this is your sternum okay you are looking at the person from his left side from lateral view this is the mediastinal cavity it has heart this is heart okay this is aorta major vessel it also has esophagus uh, this is also located in the mediastinum and it is surrounded by this vertebra, Sutune Fakarat. This is surrounded by Sutune Fakarat. So our main concern is these heart and vessels. Okay. Mediastinum is further divided into two parts. This is superior mediastinum, in which we have vessels, aorta, major vessels, and inferior mediastinum. In inferior mediastinum, we have heart, heart tissue, cardiac tissue. Am I clear so far? Please let me know in the messages. ومتوالیکادمکے Heart is a hollow muscular organ. It is a muscular organ. That pumps blood to the body. What is its function? It pumps the blood to the body, to all the organs, tissue, cells. It pumps the blood. Okay. So we said that heart is located in the mediastinum but allah has protected the heart in a fibrinous or in a membranous layer this is your heart okay this is your heart it is being protected by this layer this layer is called pericardium you may have heard about it right pericardium is the layer which protects or cover the heart so now we will study the pericardium Pericardium, pericardium, the membranes that surrounds and protect the heart. So, in jara shuma hamay tan dar kaden pericardium chias hamu pochias hamu kavareas ke kalbra ehata kadawa hifazat me kunat. There are two layers of pericardium: fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium. There are two layers: fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium. You can see in this picture, there are two layers. This one is the fibrous pericardium. This is the serous pericardium. You can see in this picture, this is heart. This is heart. This is pericardium from hair to hair. This is pericardium. This one is fibrous pericardium, the thick one. The thick one is fibrous pericardium. And this one is the serous pericardium. It also has two layers. This one and this and a cavity which has fluid. We will discuss it, okay? Just for your information, we have pericardium which has two layers, fibrous pericardium and the serous pericardium. Did you understand so far? Okay. What is fibrous pericardium? It is the thick layer. It protects the heart. It prevents the heart from infection. Mone infection by heart mesha. Heart ifazat mekona, kalbi mora ifazat mekona. 
fibrous pericardium. One of the most important function of the fibrous pericardium besides protecting the heart is to anchor the heart with surrounding structure. We, we said that heart is located in the mediastinum, but it is not freely floating in the mediastinum. It is attached to the diaphragm. It is attached to the sternum. It is attached to the vessels. So it doesn't move freely or it doesn't float freely, right? It can contract and relax, but it won't move freely with movement of the body. infection fibrous pericardium hamroe diaphragm قلب وصل میکنه با لیگامنت ها با وسیله لیگامنت ها تا قلب خیلی مست... خیلی بدون شورش کار خود کده بتونه و حرکت نکنه به جو حرکت نست نتونه اوکی سو وی وی تول یو دیت ایت پریوینت دی انسیسری مومنت اف دی هارت رایت دیر از ا لیگامنت ویچ از کال سترنو پریکاردیل لیگامنت ایت اٹیچ دی هارت تو سترنم to stabilize it. There is a ligament here, okay? It is attached with the sternum and pericardium. It stabilizes the heart, okay? The next layer of the heart is serous layer. What is the function of the serous layer? This is the serous layer of the pericardium. This is the serous layer of the pericardium. It has two layers. This one it is called the pink one. This is one is called parietal layer. This one is called parietal layer it is near the fibrinous layer okay this one which is attached firmly to the heart it is called uh, visceral layer okay so we told you that uh, uh, serous pericardium has two layer parietal layer and visceral layer the visceral layer is attached to heart the parietal layer is attached to fibrinous pericardium so okay what is this this one the blue one it is a cavity it is a cavity between the two layer of serous pericardium, between the parietal and uh, visceral layer. What, what does it have? It has fluid. It has fluid which allows the heart to easily contract and relax without being injured by surrounding structure. Okay? I'm going to explain it in Pashto and Dari. Mojuel chi pericardium dua layer alari. Yo fibrinous pericardium, fibrous pericardium da chimung patafsil saro wilo. Dwayam layer chikum da aga serous pericardium da. Serous pericardium pakpala dua layer alari. Yo layer ta parietal wil ki zi parietal serous pericardium da gai wada pink. Yo layer ta wil ki zi visceral pericardium. Say da kana visceral serous pericardium. Dwi pa mans ki da ga khali ga da dal ta fluid da uba di. Di pericardial fluid pa nam baan yadi zi. The day was if at shed at the pericardial fluid chida is a saracoma cavin. The pericardial fluid is a saracoma cavich pasanisara in cabazo in bisatu ki. The am deep was syllabanet is a pader pasanisara in cabazo in bisat kawas a deep fluid was syllabandi. Taspadi have a poesy, Hamaitan Fomidian in Noctara. Hob. We're gonna move to the slide. So we had parietal layer, right? And we had visceral layer. One thing you should note that the parietal layer is pen sensitive. This one, this layer has pen fibers. What does it mean? Whenever you have any injury or any infection, it will be detected by this layer. Whenever you have pericardial pain, when you have heart pain that is due to pericardium, it will be detected by this layer. Kala ham chiditas pazariki di pericardium la vajena kum dardi ya infection ya inflammation har ga dar kalbeton dard pericardium basha as tarike in as tarike in nahiya o tashkhis mesha in jo ma asab darem rishta hai asab darem ke ham dard da his mekuna it has pain receptor and pain nerves ending it is supplied by the phrenic nerve you should remember you should remember that the parietal layer is pen sensitive you should remember this one and it is supplied by phrenic nerves this is very important which nerve supplies the pericardium you should know it it is phrenic nerve okay it is the pen uh, fibers what is the uh, significance of this layer this is the visceral layer this layer below this layer we have vessels of the heart coronary artery which we will discuss later below this layer we have 
vessels of the heart, coronary artery, which we will discuss later. Okay. Okay. I discussed that we have fluid here, right? I discussed that we have fluid here. The amount of the fluid is, the amount of the fluid is, uh, uh, one minute, the amount of the fluid is 10 to 50 ml. Remember, if the fluid increase, it will compress the heart. Circle for sure what it makes. In the beginning, if the inner fluid is in the middle of the fluid, it will be in the middle of the so we don't need this fluid to increase we need the, this fluid to be within 10 to 50 ml if it increases it will lead to pathologies certain pathologies we will discuss later precardial effusion precardial effusion your cardiac tempo na day yaad mein shad wakte in jo khun dakhil shawad umar azar amao shumo badan mataliya mein karen masalan ma yek misal barton mein tum agar kase as tarik e choko dheera bakhan aghwadam dhalta zumang yaw da masirun na pakhta na wakda chhe daga normal normal value chhe da da pericardial fluid ya plural cavity ke chhe kam fluid si aga lagur ta clear ke chhe aga normal 10 to 50 ml si aga yes 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 this guy know so I told you as I mentioned that the normal amount should be 10 to 50 ml it shouldn't increase right kachhe ta da fluid la 10 na 50 ml na increase ya dhalta fluid raisi zafa ya dhalta vina raisi la kum zayna vina raisi taas pu guman ba la kum zayna raisi masal ni yaw cha di cha ko zarba u khada la yaw cha di cha ko zarba zhada u khada la so chal ki gai se da zhada dhalta na surai ki zi se chal a surai sulu da ga vina raisi pa di zai ki jai pa jai ki zi pa da kewiti ki o se chal ki zi da kewiti aista aista ghati zi ghati zi pa zhada ba ni fishar wari da vi چکلای پا زردبان فشار وارد کرو زرد نخبل کار نسی که ولی دی هم دیل و جینه دا چه آغا سوخ چه زرد تا چاکو خلی یا مرمی خلی آغا دیر زر سکتا کوی ولی چه زرد دیر زر خبل کار پریشتی کسانه که یک دفعه داری ای موضوع برتان تشریح میکنم پریکاردیل کیویتی ما که هستا از داد الا پینجا ایمیل فلوت دار از ای باید زیاد نشو وظیفه ای فلوت چی بود وظیفه ای فلوت با ای هست این قباز و این بساط کنم مگم اگر این فلود در کدام امراض بیشتر شوه یا اینجا خون داخل شوه باز سبب فشار سر قلب میشه و قلب وظیفه خدا کرده نمیتونه مثلا یک کس ضربه چاکو خورد اینجا قلبش پاره شد خون از اینجا سرایت میکنه در کیویتی حالی چی میشه؟ در کیویتی خون زیاد میشه وقتی خون زیاد شد سر قلب فشار میاره و قلب کار خدا کرده نمیتونه از امون سبب است که وقتی کس ضربه به قلب بخوره مستقیم آجل سکته میکنه انکونشیس میشه و باید زود میند شده در شاک میره منظور ما را گرفتن این مرازا را ما پسان براحتی به تفصیل درس میکنیم We will discuss these topics, these pathologies later, okay? Now moving to the next topic So we have, we have studied this pericardium This is gift of Allah, right? This is gift of Allah for human being Our heart is freely contracting and relaxing in these um, uh, parameters. So now we will come to the heart itself. So heart is composed of three layers of muscle. Okay, we can say it composed of three layers. Actually, the main bulk of the heart is this one, which is called myocardium. Hey. The main bulk of the heart is this muscle. Uh, Dr. Elias, could you please clear these lines? Okay. The first layer of the heart, or the first layer of the heart is this one. It is called, we, we discussed it. It was visceral peri pericardium, right? This one was visceral pericardium, right? This one was visceral per pericardium. But it is also called epicardium. Epicardium means the one which is above the Beruni Issa, the Zrudu epicardium punum hamiyadi ki. Os mum pakhpala kalb Zrudu mutaliya kao. Zrudu dhri layer alari. Epicardium, myocardium, endocardium. Mung, uh, the pericardial cavity, pericardial and provella. This layer is epicardium. This layer is... Hello? Hello? Yes. Dr. Alimi, can you, can you please give me two or three minutes that I can explain it to the students? 
uh, what do you want to explain, uh, Dr. Ilya? Uh, actually, they are writing on the slides, and this is very un unacceptable uh, behavior. Okay, let me just uh, pause the video, right? We, we, let me just pause the video, and then the uh, just you can then discuss the topic. Just I will pause the video. I don't want to include these things in my uh, lecture, right? Okay. 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 Uh, just okay. Where do we have the option? <clears throat> okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. yes. Absolutely, it is very okay. clear. You can, okay. you can continue with your presentation. So, so everyone, we have studied that uh, pericardium is being studied. Right now, we are focusing on the heart itself. Ours had three layers. It is epicardium, the outermost layer, myocardium, the muscular layer, which forms the bulk of the heart, which is the main layer, which has the heart tissues, and the thin layer, this one, the thin layer. The thin layer is the... Thin layer is the endocardium okay the thin layer is the endocardium okay the thin layer uh, th this one is the endocardium so what is uh, epicardium epicardium as i told you the outermost layer this one and it is formed by visceral pericardium i i have told you before right what is the significance of this layer i told you before Below this layer within the myocardium are the coronary blood vessels. It is a very significant point. You should remember that. Puyadulari to the epicardium land the delta pade zaiki, coronary blood vessel the da dera mohima habar the in heliac mozoi mohimas ki coronary blood vessel yo ami shirion yo varid hoi kalbi da kujomo kadora, zere epicardium mujudora than myocardium in sohara sub epicardium mega. This, this, this area is called subepicardium. So coronary blood vessel is located in subepicardium. Okay. The second layer is the myocardium. This layer, the thick layer is the myocardium. It forms the uh, main tissues of the heart, the cardiac tissue. Okay. And we have a system within it. It is called conductive, con conducting system. It helps the heart to contract and relax on its own. The dwayam layer chukum da da asli layer the zrda da myocardium ham bilki se in bano me myocardium no mida me shavad wadar dakhle in system me conducting system asta ke ba kalp ko mark me kona ki khudish contract kona khudish inkhbas kona khudish inbisat kona batawr automatic conducting system ma mod lecture hoy ainda batawr tafsil me khonem shuma fakat amira bayad dashta boshin conducting system the dakhle myocardium hasta. Okay, the innermost layer is the endocardium. This one, the thin layer is the endocardium. What is the significance? The in layer chias. The significance of this layer is the area near this layer is very prone to infarction. Is the first area that get that is be that is get infected when myocardial infarction occur. So tulo da chili layer chikum da aga endocardium da. See the nari layer. The de ahmiyat patish kida. The de land chikum layer da daga isa da. Da dera hasasa da kalam chisakte kalbiki zi awal padeji ki nuks manstarazi awal padeji ki necrosis manstarazi nudam bad piyad ki kachet pimtian ki sawal dar taragai which part of the heart involves in the myocardial infarction first you have to say sub endocardial layer this is sub endocardial part okay so we have we have answered two questions so far where is the coronary blood vessels here below the epicardium sub epicardium which area is affected first in the myocardial infarction? This area, what is this area? Subendocardium, zero endocardium, or below endocardium, okay? So this was the detail of the cardiac tissue itself. Now we will move to the gross anatomy of the heart, okay? Can you see this slide? Can you all see this slide? This one, okay. This is the gross anatomy of the heart. I'm gonna just, Okay, this one. So heart is composed of four chambers. Heart is composed of four chamber. One, two, three, four. Heart has composed of three, uh, four chambers. Two atrium, right atrium, right when, uh, left atrium, 
two ventricles, right ventricle, left ventricle, and is separated by interventricular septum and interatrium septum, okay? I'm gonna show you one another picture, okay? Okay, look at this picture. This is the right atrium. This is the right ventricle. This one is the left atrium. This one is the left ventricle. So we have four chamber in the heart. We will come to those pictures again, okay? So what happens? This, we can say this is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. We can say it, right? In tarafe rosta calvas, in tarafe chape calvas, chor chamber dorem, dahlezi rost, dahlezi chap, batne rost, batne chap, chor dona chamber modorem. Mo guftami tonem ki i taraf ke asta, se rost calvas, i taraf ke asta, se chape calvas, da se rost ke asta, right atrium, right ventricle, va tarafe chap, left atrium, left ventricle okay why am why am i saying that right side of the heart or left side of the heart you should remember like this the right side of the heart receive the systemic blood the unoxygen unoxygenated blood the unpure blood when uh, the oxygen is being used in the blood the unoxygenated or deoxygenated blood comes from the uh, head and neck through superior vena cava this is the vein it drain into the right atrium and from the body through inferior vena cava, this is the inferior vena cava into the right atrium. Then this blood is pumped into the right ventricle. Okay, so now we have deoxygenated blood into the right side of the heart. Where is the blood is being oxygenated? It is oxygenated into the lungs. So we have to pump this blood into the lung via pulmonary artery. This is pulmonary artery. It arises from right ventricle, okay? It transport the blood into the lung. Suppose we have lungs here, okay? Just suppose we have lungs here. It, uh, it transport the blood to the lungs. The blood is oxygenated there. And then the oxygenated and pure blood is transported to the left side of the heart. This red one, this is pure blood, this oxygenated blood. It is transported via these veins. This is called pulmonary veins, okay? To the left atrium. This is left atrium and then from there, it uh, is transported in or pumped into the left ventricle. And from there, the left ventricle pump into the aorta and whole body. This is the aorta major artery of the body, the largest artery of the body, which arise from left ventricle. It was a overview of the circulation of the body. I will explain it in Pashto and Dari as well. It is very important slide. You have to be listening very carefully, okay? No, my zikr ukro che zero salor chamber lari. Dahlese rast, dahlese chap, batne rast, batne chap. Us chal ki ye mujh bata pudvo iso taksim ko. Pumans ke dewal da interventricular septum, de tawai internal arterial septum chhi us malumi zina di vessels tar shap rota. Kudam malumi ke da di ventricle tar man septum da jida dwara pehla bi. De tarap tabu ay right side of the heart, de tarap tabu ay left side of the heart. Okay. This only lies right side of the heart wire. Zaka dana paka vina chusumra pu jutkida, la tool wujudna la sarna la pshuna delta razi, bella dena badi tasfe la para shustazi, dara kam kiki, to the sarna vina razi, the superior vena cava pum rasta, the shan batasi i stai stas the superior vena cava pum rasta, the pshula lari, the landi wujudla lari, razi the inferior vena cava pum rasta, out there as if the haleze rastki. The haleze rasna the vina razi, but ne rast. The button ras na dagazi pulmonary artery, the blue. Why is it blue? Blue pudaka da deoxygenated blood. It's not oxygenated. The deoxygenated blood, the munge bai tasfiaku. So pulmonary artery transport the blood to lungs. Fikaruki delta lungs, delta shushti. Shushki oxygen usara gadizi. Vakte oxygen, the shush gut should hamroi ikun in opok your deoxygenated. Ikun as shush in the call da damesha. Tarapicha. یعنی طرف چپ ما خون پاک داره که باید به تمام وجود رسانده شوه از طریق این وسل های خرد ایرا پلمونری ایرا پلمونری وینز میگه ای میارا خون طرف دهلیز چپ از دهلیز چپ خون میایا بطن چپ از بطن چپ قلب پمپ میکنه به ایورتا به این طرف پمپ میکنه ایورتا از قلب چپ ارایس میشه از بطن چپ این طرف نمیای خون 
به خاطر که اینجا ما دیوار داریم رای دیگه ایورتا ارژنیت میکنه از لفت ونتیکل از اینجا خون میره به شکلی که ایروی ما میره اما تو و ایورتا بزرگترین شیریان وجود از اینجا به سرم انتقال میشه به تمام آزار وجود انتقال میشه خدا کنه شما این مطلب گرفته باشین این یک موضوع خیلی خوب بود شما باز وقت ویدیو رو دوباره دیدین این شما تکرار و تمرین کده میتونین خب یک دفعه دوباره ساختمان قلب اینجا برتان نشان میتم اینجا ببینین از اینجا خون میه دلده جنه وینه رازی زده تا الان دینم وینه رازی دلده شکاره کرده اینه دلده ترب تا پا منس که دیوار دا زده پرد تا بیالا دی زینا دی پلمونری آتری دا پلمونری آتری دا دا دی پا وصله بانه میره تر پا شوش از شوش دوباره با دهلیز چپ میه از دهلیز چپ با بطن چپ میه از اونجا این ایورتا از ایورتا انتقال میشه خون پاک که اکسیجن داره با تمام وجود اما تو باز خون دوباره از اینجا دوباره برگشت میکنه امپیریر سپیریر به نکره امیدوار هستم یاد گرفته باشیم خدا در خومت هست یا اوورویو در کرا او سرازو زده بارڈر گورو او سرفیس گورو دو مونگ زده در کم پو چس که بیتی که پو دو من مخکم تاستا تصویر دشکاره کرو زده با یو زلی بیاد تاستا زر برشکاره کرم فکر رو که دو مونگ زده پو وجود که در کم پو دو سی ده کنه دای مونگ زده دای انتیریر سرفیس تا مخکنی برخی ده it is the interior surface of the heart and behind we have the posterior surface this one is the inferior surface which is which lies on the diaphragm so the surface which lies on the diaphragm is the inferior surface the surface which is behind the ribs and sternum is the anterior surface right we cannot see the posterior surface here i will show it to you later uh, that is the posterior and this one is the apex of the heart this is apex what is this this is the base of the heart so we have base of the heart where we have the major vessels okay and uh, we have apex of the heart okay we have inferior surface anterior surface posterior surface did you guys understand so far okay so now now if we move to our slide if we simplify the thing here okay this is apex right okay this is the inferior surface where is the anterior surface it is it has been removed this one this is the posterior wall right now we are looking at the posterior wall this is the ventricle this is the posterior wall okay so here i have simplified this uh, topic here for you guys uh, you should know what is apex if someone ask you apex is the region of the heart which is located at the level of fifth intercostal space you should remember it like that apex is the region of the heart which is located at the level of the fifth intercostal space and it is located in mid clavicular line 1.5 cm medial i will explain mid clavicular line and what is its effect it has the maximum pulsation of the heart if you want to palpate the heart if the doctor asks you or the patient asks you or the examiner asks you to palpate the pulsation of the heart you will place your hand on the apex region and you will feel the heartbeat okay so look i will show you in this diagram again this is almost fifth intercostal space your apex is located here this area is called mid mid clavicular line it it is a straight line comes like this it is a mid clavicular line apex is located in the fifth intercostal space okay what is the significance of the heart if you want to palpate the heartbeat of a person you can place your palm here you can place your hand here and you will feel the heartbeat you can feel your own heartbeat you can place your heart and you will feel your own heartbeat okay and it has a auscultation significance as well if you want to hear the sounds of the heart with us with the um, uh, stethoscope you can place your stethoscope here and you will uh, you will very clearly listen to heart sounds okay okay so um, a few questions a few questions if someone's asked uh, which structures forms the apex of the heart you can see in the you can see in the diagram it is formed by the left ventricle look it is formed by the left ventricle very good okay which structure form the inferior surface of the heart look you can clearly see it is formed by the right ventricle and left ventricle combined if someone's ask you the inferior surface of the heart is formed by the you will say right ventricle and left ventricle combined okay if someone says which structure forms the base of the heart this is base of the heart it is formed by the left atrium you can clearly see also if you if someone asks 
which structure lies anteriorly or anterior surface of the heart. This is the anterior surface of the heart, right? This is anterior and it is formed by the right atrium and right ventricle. So whenever someone asks you the anterior surface of the heart, you will say right atrium, right ventricle, the apex of the heart, left ventricle, the inferior surface, right ventricle, left ventricle, and the posterior surface. Remember, remember this is the first posterior surface. So posterior surface is formed by left atrium. This is the left atrium. This is posterior surface of the heart. And this is the left ventricle. But the most posterior structure is the left atrium. Remember it. Left atrium is the most posterior structure of the heart. What is its significance? I will explain later. Okay, I will explain later. Just remember the most posterior structure is the left atrium. If we come to this uh, slide here, this is the most posterior structure. So what is it? It is left atrium, okay? This is the anterior structure. It could be left, uh, right atrium or right, right ventricle. Guys, do you understand? This is very important. Do you understand? Uh, the inferior surface the heart kumu apex lawal raza apex da mujwili che the zr apex da da the zr apex will ki de 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 da chet located the fifth intercostal space ki de ahmed putish ki da ahmed te pade ki da let me communicate him and then restart our presentation after a few minutes he he is coming Okay. Okay. No, more it explain me that if a person has a significant impact on the heart, when you want to examine the heart, the heart of 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 the heart, the fifth intercostal space, the heart of the heart, 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 so the heart sound of the heart sound of the heart sound the fifth intercostal space of the apex sound of the heart the heart sound of the heart in inferior surfaces the inferior surface the diaphragm the heart sound of the heart sound of the heart the heart sound of the heart the the right ventricle of the left ventricle the heart sound of the 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 Base that China Jordan, the base that the board to watch the left atrium, the Jordan Delta Task Pala winning. Say the canon Bia Cadelta Rice to Maki, the Delta Rice to watch anterior surface the Tishina Jordan, the right atrium na, out the right ventricle na, say the canon, out the posterior surface the ratio, left atrium na, left ventricle na, who through total of posterior structure as Hamaka the posterior structure left atrium as the Egap Helimo Master by your Dostabosh and as based on person meconum by Ehmed Dora. Let's move. Okay, so we discussed that uh, uh, deoxygenated blood uh, comes to the right side of the heart, right? Uh, between the right, uh, between the atrium and the ventricles, we have valves. We have valves. These are the valves. We have valves. This is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle, we have a valve. Between the right ventricle and the, uh, the pulmonary trunk, we have a well. So let's name it. This one is called, this one is called, this is called tricuspid valve. Why is it called tricuspid valve? Because its structure is tricuspid. It is composed of triscuspid. You can see it here. You can see in this slide clearly. This is tricuspid valve. Tricuspid valve is, look at this one, sorry. Tricuspid valve is located between right atrium and right ventricle. Okay. Between the right ventricle and pulmonary trunk, which valve is located? Very simple. Pulmonary valve. It is located at the base of the pulmonary trunk. So we will call it pulmonary valve. Okay. Let's move to the left side of the heart. Between left atrium and left ventricle, we have a valve. This valve. This is the most significant valve. I can't stress enough. This is mitral valve. Okay. This is located here. Okay. Just look at the structure of these valves. All of these valves have three cups, one, two, three, one, two, three, but the mitral valve have two cups, one, two, remember it, okay? Between the left ventricle and aorta, we have two, uh, we have valve as well. What do we call it? Aortic valve. It is located in the base of the aorta, aortic valve. So we have two valves, 
between atria and ventricle, which is called uh, tricuspid and mitral valve. And we have two valves at the trunks level. We have pulmonary valve and aortic valve. Okay, so what is the significance of these valves? What is the importance of these valves? As you can see in this picture, these valves, these valves are attached to the ventricles with ligament. This is ligament. This ligament is called cordia tendini. I will type it here, okay? I will type it here so you understand. Okay, you can see in this picture, cordia tendini. They are attached to these muscles of the ventricle. This muscle is called papillary muscle. Look at these. This is papillary muscle. The mitral valve is attached to this cordia tendini as well. Cordia tendini connect the valve to papillary muscle. What happens that when the ventricle contracts, so the blood should move here and there, these valves prevent the backflow of the blood in the atrium. These valves prevent the backflow of the blood in the left atrium and uh, right atrium respectively. in Barton the Dariu Pashto Zemikun Mauzoi Mohimasta. Valhoi at interatrioventricular valve casta Ibstora atrioventricular valve ham mega majman. Ki tricuspid valasta, imitral valvasta. E valho a hemetish the yasta vachte kalb in kibos mekuna. Boyad hun tarafe, shirion ho, wabarid ho bra. Bajoy inke dubara tarafe dahles bra. Yon in mone, bargashti hun badahles ho mesha. Itaraf ma tricuspid val mone bargashti khun as right ventricle the right atrium mesha wa in mone bargashti khun as left ventricle the left atrium mesha da waqt i basta mesha ho wal chi waqt basta mesha waqt left or right ventricle in kibaz mekona contraction mekona chi waqt baz mesha waqt mi khoy khun az inja taraf ventricle biya bazi rahati baz mesha umedwar yam chi daga matlab ta se tholo akhasta bi de dui ahmiyat pe de ki jada chi mane ki jise bina the zero uh, the ventricle the contraction ya the intervals to wakhi dubara shat alada nasi kala chida contraction kabi daga valvuna dwara bansi kala chida zero contraction kabi valvuna bansi or wina the deep zai chida li lada sikhpal masir ta di delta the vessels do talada si say them how the mahkam soak sati the cordia ten deny sati papillary muscle bandhi e laga uli di okay you can see that uh, pulmonary and aortic valve doesn't need the uh, uh, cordia ten deny why it is very important if you can guess why does it doesn't need the cordia tendini because when the heart contract blood into the aorta it opens when the blood is here the blood push back the valve the leaf of the valve and close it similarly in the aortic valve when the heart contract when the left ventricle contract the blood is transported here then after in the phase of relaxation the blood is uh, the valve is being closed by the pressure of that blood. Okay. So, chal ki ki kala chhi ladhi jina vina daga valve kata si ugori dard pa valve. The cordia tendina in the papillary muscle sarma attach ni jino da sanga khlaasi do blood bandhi zi. Kala chhi zhrd contraction u ki da automatically khlaasi. Bya chhi kala vina dal ta laada dhi vini wazan chhi da da dubara band ki pudhi baana pishar wa chhi bhi. Sahi da kanam. Au the wall by dear mahkam of jor wasi the cups by jor wasi si dubara bina rapri nish the say the kana like a muscle and kagal to mojra isu the structure to raisu the by dear jor wasi vina dubara ilan de rapri nish the okay there are disease in which these these valves become defective we have disease in which these valves become defective either it doesn't close properly so the blood will if it doesn't close properly, the blood will leak into the atrium. But if it doesn't open, the blood will not transport it from atrium into the ventricle. We will discuss those diseases later. We have disease of these valves. Either it cannot close properly or it cannot open properly. And it can lead to certain disease, which we will study later. <laughs> No peki bea divini in tikala, atrium na ventricle ta odaga, shiriano, varidota, echlalizi, dear detail marazunadi, numana by leg dertawaham, aortic stenosis, mitral regurgitation, putas was data tashwishmak with the marazuna mushrustawayu. Agar in valho, say banna shod, ya say bosna shod, but rusti, amros bojudme, amrose, hilimohime kalbi bojudme, kizyatar marduma mutasir mekona, umarazora mo pasan, but detail mutalia mekonin.
uh, do you guys have questions so far before we before we move to the uh, corona circulation i will give you guys just five minutes quickly you can ask uh, i will unmute your mic and you guys can ask five minute uh, question and then we'll rapidly move to the next session uh, dr Elias, is that okay can we do that Hello, Dr. Elias. Uh, the, uh, the first question was by Dr. Saib that why should we uh, palpate the apex beat? Uh, why is it palpable so easily? Okay, first of all, uh, I told you that apex is formed by a left ventricle. Left ventricle has strong muscular wall, okay? When it contracts, uh, it, it creates a significant uh, force, right? And the uh, apex is uh, relatively close to the anterior uh, chest wall, okay, or to the lateral uh, anterolateral chest wall, okay. So with these two factor, you can easily uh, palpate the uh, beat of the heart there. Uh, I hope uh, I have answered your question clearly and you have got your answer. Okay, the next person asked me that what is called called it tendonite. So called it tendonite, as I mentioned, these are these ligaments. Look, these tendons or tendonite, minor tendonite. It uh, just connect the cusps. This is the valve. Okay, this is the valve, right? The white one. These are called cardiac tendini. This is called papillary muscle, part of the ventricle. It just connects the leaves with it. What is the significance of it, right? Okay, when the heart contract, it creates a forceful contraction. So yeah, cardiac tendini should hold the leaflet that it doesn't flow back into the atrium, right? It has this function as well. It closes the ventricle, but doesn't allow the leaves to move so much forward in the atrium. It, in that case, it will also cause leakage of the blood into the atrium. Cardiac tendini, the tendon, the leaf says the la zrdsara vessel kridi. The zrdla vessel ventricle sar vessel kridi. The two cardha ga the leaflet pa ehtiyas ra khlasa bi or bandha bi apadi kim rasta kabi. Okay. One thing I would like to mention that um, heart beats, uh, you guys know that uh, heart beats with um, automatically, it is controlled by sympathetic and parasympathetic system. It is our autonomic system and it uh, helps in the contraction and relaxation of the heart. How does it work? Uh, we have a separate lecture for it. We have a separate uh, topic uh, and we will discuss it later. Just uh, remember that cardiac plexus is derived from sympathetic and parasympathetic system, just that. What does it do? It helps the heart to contract and relax and determine the heart rate, okay? Sometimes sympathetic stimulation increase, it increase the heart rate. Something parasympathetic stimulation increase, it decrease the heart rate. Sympathetic stimulation or parasympathetic stimulation is automatic Okay, our main topic today is coronary circulation. It is a very important topic, very important. This is our last topic, so stay tuned, okay? So, uh, uh, coronary circulation both supply the heart and drain the heart. What does it mean? The artery supply the heart and the vein drain the heart. It, uh, the artery supply the oxygenated blood nutrients and the deoxygenated blood is uh, drained by the veins, okay? So as I mentioned here, but uh, remember, I mentioned one thing ago in the previous slide that where does the coronary vessels lies? If anyone can answer me in the chat, where does the coronary vessels lies? Coronary vessel, the kujo mokha doshtan. Barton Tashreka da Budam, ke coronary vessel, the injo da kudon kasmat karor doran. Harchas Jawaburku, Mustahik de Namda. Sub, very good. Sub Ekarium. Please mute your mice. Just, just in chat. Just in chat. Mute your mice, please. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. So, you guys mentioned, as I mentioned, that coronary vessel lies here. Why does it lie here? Nobody asked me. I will answer that, okay? I will answer that. First of all, okay. First of all, where the uh, where uh, does the uh, arteries of the heart arise from? I will show a picture. These are the blood flow of the heart. First, we will uh, study the arteries of the heart. Then we will study the veins, venous system of the heart. Okay, this mm -hmm. is the arterial system of the heart. This we have two major arteries for the heart. One is called right coronary artery 
the second one is called left coronary artery can you guys see it mung dua a main coronary artery laru your right coronary artery the dada or your left coronary artery the okay it arises from this structure what is this structure it is aorta it is basically arises from aortic sinus or the dilatation at the base of the aorta this is the dilatation at the base of the aorta it is called aortic sinus from where the uh, coronary artery arises okay so further the right uh, the left coronary artery is the larger one you can appreciate it it is the larger one it 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 moves here i will explain it later and then divide in this branch and this branch i will explain later the left coronary artery right this way this way then it gives a branch and here is the another branch and the terminal branch we will discuss all of this just get familiar with the structure did you guys get so far dhurdwa coronary artery lari hari was for detail sara mangwayu okay so we were here okay one thing you should know one thing you should know that when the heart heart supplies the blood to whole body during systole what is systole when the heart is contracting it supply whole body the blood when the heart is relaxing it is called diastole uldre ki dua halat nadi yaw tawil ki ze inqibaz yaw tawil ki ze inbisat de inqibaz po waqt ke zda tol wujud ta wina leji de halat ta systole wil ki ki da ga da de ta wil ki ki systole kala ch tol wujud ta wina leji aw zda inqibaz ta wi bal halat da inbisat kala ch zda relax po zda ta wina razi de halat ta wil ki ki diastole sahi da kanam dal ta yaw istisna da zda tol wujud ta ch da the systole po waqt ke wina leji kala zda contract ki tol wujud ta de aorta pa lara band wina leji تمام وجود دا قلب دو حالت کلان دوره یک انقباض است یک انبساط است با تمام وجود خون در جریان انقباض فرستاده میشه از طریق اورتا او حالت د انگلیسی میگه سیستلی شما باید را یاد داشته باشین اینا سیستلی اوکی و وقت قلب ریلکس میکنه ای کندیشن میگه دایسلی د حالت ریلکسیشن قلب قلب از خون پر میشه باز دوباره انقباض میکنه و دوباره خون وجود روان میکنه باز این بساط میکنه ریلکس میشه باز از خون پر میشه این حالت دو حالت کلان است با تمام وجود در حالت انقباض خون روانه میشه با جزء از خود قلب با جزء از خود قلب با قلب در حالت ریلکسیشن خون روان میشه فهمیدین عالم برتون تشریح میکنم مثلا اینجا قلب کنٹریکشن کرد با سرعت خون روان کرد به صورت خون روان کرد صحیح بعد از چی میشه عاجل قلب ریلکس میکنه وقت ریلکس کرد خون بر کم وقت اینجا در اورتا میمونه و خون در اینجا در اورتا که مان و عضلات قلبی که کنٹریکشن کرده بود سر شریان های قلبی فشار آورده بود او خو که فشار آورده بود کنستریکشن شده بود وقت قلب ما ریلکس شد ای شریان ها باز میشه باز آهسته آهسته خونه در حالت ریلکسیشن در حالت دایستلی از شریان ابهر یا اورتا میگیره امیدوار هستم این مطلب رو فهمیده باشیم سو وین دی هارد کنٹراکس ایٹ ویز او کنسٹرکٹ دیز ویسل ایز ویل سو ڈیورنگ کنٹراکشن ریپیڈ ایجکشن اف دی بلڈ اکرز اینڈ وین دی ہارٹ اگین ریلکس دیز ویسل دین ریسیو دی بلڈ فلو فرام دی base of the aorta so we will say that uh, heart receive its blood flow during diastole during re relaxation phase just remember that but the piadulary chi heart pokum wa ki khpal zan ta wina war kavi ya receive kavi during the diastole aw bal midam aw zota sta wila chi it uh, the coronary vessel lies in the sub epicardial space okay all right so we discussed that uh, the heart has two major vessel right coronary artery and left coronary artery am i right right so we will discuss it one by one right, let's discuss the right coronary artery first right coronary artery arises from aortic sinus anterior aortic sinus we discuss it what is aortic sinus it is the dilatation at the base of the aorta okay where does it run it runs in the av groove atrioventricular groove atrio ventricular ventricular groove and then join the left coronary artery and posterior interventricular i will explain it okay so for okay branches 
It has two branches, major uh, marginal branch and posterior descending artery. Okay, so now we will move to the diagram and you guys will understand clearly. For example, this is this is aorta. This is our right coronary artery, okay? So first we studied that right coronary artery arise from aortic sinus. This is aortic sinus base of the aorta, the dilatation, and it's uh, uh, from its anterior part. Look, it's anterior part, okay? Then it moves in the atrioventricular groove. This is the groove. It moves in the atrioventricular groove. You can, you guys can clearly appreciate it. Am I right? Okay. Okay. Uh, it, it moves in the atrioventricular groove. Then it gives the branches. This is the right marginal branch. Then it moves to posterior surface. And uh, I may have the picture of the posterior surface as well, where it forms the posterior descending artery. I will uh, show you guys it uh, uh, shortly. Uh, it, here, it gives the marginal branch and then it, it terminate in the posterior descending artery. This is the posterior descending artery. We will discuss it later. So right coronary artery moves in the atrioventricular groove, gives the marginal branch. This is the marginal branch and terminate in the posterior descending artery. Uh, did you guys understand so far? I mean, you guys are getting my point, right? Okay, let's move to the next slide. Uh, so what does the right coronary artery supply? Do remember it, please. This is very important. This is very important. Uh, please avoid writing on the slides. Guys, please avoid writing on the slides. Okay. Okay. Uh, please mute your mic, mics. Okay. So, as I mentioned, right coronary artery. Can you guys hear me? Right coronary artery supply. Obviously, you can appreciate from the name, right coronary artery supply, the right side of the heart, right? What is the right side of the heart? I mentioned earlier, it supplies the right atrium, right ventricle, right? It supplies the right of right side of the heart and all the conducting system. Remember it, please. What is conducting system? I mentioned earlier, the conducting system caused the autonomic contraction and relaxation of the heart. It is SA node, sinoatrial node, a AV node, atrioventricular node, and fibers, except right bundle branch. This is your MCQ of exam. Remember this. It supplies the right right atrium, majority of the right ventricle, okay. All conducting system, except RBB, please remember it. All conducting except RBB, okay. Okay, your Pupashtu ki dhartawai ma padari ki. Zoom user, please mute your mic. Zoom user, please, okay. Okay. Can you guys listen to me? Can you guys listen to my voice clearly? Okay. No, right coronary artery to the right side of the heart to supply key, right atrium to supply key, uh, right ventricle to supply key. No, I'm not the right coronary artery. The side of the toll conducting system to the MCQ to the exam. Toll conducting system to supply key conducting system to the other system that is the Pupala bandi cut in Kabazo in Pisat Kavi. Who hire the RBB in a right bundle branch of Pagher. The Han is the key RBB, right bundle, right bundle branch of Pagher. Right bundle branch of Pagher. Yes, yes, yes. دامے uh, the ihalat. E posterior descending arteries, posterior surface of interventricular septum supply mekana. 
posterior one third. Agar mo interventricular septum ada se isa taksim kunem, jay ke se shay it supply me kona do isay digesha left coronary artery supply me kona ora mo bhas me kunem. Fakat ira bayad doshta boshin ke posterior descending artery ki ek branch che chime bosha right coronary artery da halat it bester ya left coronary artery ham budam me tona fakat da ashtad fisad mardum ya right coronary artery me bosha ena injana vista kadem. In posterior one third of interventricular septum supply me kena. Okay, uh, in eighty percent of people, what is right dominance? I will explain it later once we get to the left coronary. Okay, let's come to the left coronary. Did you get the uh, lecture regarding right coronary artery? Now we will move to the right uh, left coronary artery. Left coronary artery arrive from left posterior aortic sinus okay it arises from aorta as well but it is called left posterior okay that was anterior sinus this is posterior sinus just the difference okay uh, okay it is larger than right coronary remember left coronary artery is larger than the right coronary artery okay and uh, uh, it uh, then it uh, very very in a short pathway then it gives two main branches left anterior descending artery and left circumflex, uh, circum, uh, circumflex artery uh, let me show you in the diagram you will understand it better okay so this is left coronary artery. okay can you appreciate it arises from posterior surface of the aorta or posterior surface of the aortic sinus can you guys appreciate right so it arises it is larger as compared to the right coronary artery. You can see it. This is all right, left coronary artery and its branches. As it uh, moves uh, between the atrium and the ventricle here, it gives branch. This is right anterior, this, uh, left, and sorry, left anterior descending artery, this one. This one is the left anterior descending artery. And the other one which moves posteriorly, which uh, curves posteriorly, it is circumflex artery. So left coronary artery has two large branches. One is the uh, proximal or left anterior descending, LAD. Remember, LAD, left anterior descending, this one. And the other one is circumflex artery. It has other branches as well, but these two are very important for you to remember. So let's move, what are these branches? We will move back to the slide, previous slide. Okay, so uh, this is the left coronary artery, right? Uh, the uh, left anterior descending is the larger branch. It is the main branch. Look, this one, this one, it, it, it descend in the interventricular groove. This is the groove between two ventricles, right and left ventricle, it descend. But the groove that the right or left ventricle through must grow the, the left anterior descending artery. Down. Okay, what does it do? It supply the apex, very important. What supplies the apex? Left coronary artery, which branch? left anterior descending artery always remember left anterior descending artery descend toward the apex and supply the apex what else it supply i discussed earlier that if we divide the septum into three parts the posterior part is supplied by posterior descending artery which is which was branch of right coronary, coronary artery but the anterior two-third of the septum this area it is supplied by the left anterior descending artery are you getting getting my point it gives a septal branch which supply it. Okay. I will explain it in Pashto. And uh, left coronary artery, the main branch of our KVO, the uh, main branch of the left anterior descending artery, the two ventricles, the groove thermals, the apex, the apex supply, the bulb of the man's kitchen septum, the day dwe per three barha supply. Come over barha each part is a posterior descending artery, which is a branch of the path of the path the right coronary artery. But last piece of the whole book, the left coronary artery, and the right coronary artery. But this is like apex. So if we have occlusion of this artery, the artery is bound. So that dear heart is ischemia, that dear heart is sucked a little bit. If it is sucked a little bit, if it is a large branch block, so it is an apex block. The apex is the best part of the left ventricle. So it is a large branch of the left ventricle. Okay. Branch domi as a chibud, circumflex artery would circumflex artery mera mutabaki atrium wa left ventricle supply makana. Umidwarastam shuma imanzura giftabashem. The next branch was circumflex artery, which supply remaining part of the ventricle, uh, left ventricle, and also uh, 
left coronary artery supply the left atrium as well. Left atrium, let me know that by left coronary artery or the part work. Uh, I can see the participant are raising their hand. We will give you uh, enough time at the end of the session. Okay. Okay. So if we just uh, uh, brief it, uh, left coronary supply, left atrium. Okay. Obviously, we know for from the name. Okay. Where it is? Sorry. Uh, so it supplies the uh, left atrium. Okay. Uh, what does it? Have? Okay. Uh, left atrium and uh, supplies the left. Uh, what is it? Okay. Left atrium, left ventricle. It also supplies the anterior two third of septum, as I discussed. This one, LAD. LAD supply the anterior two third of the septum. Do you remember I uh, told you before that all conducting system is supplied by right coronary artery except right bundle branch? Here, the right bundle branch is supplied by left coronary artery. Remember it, please. Okay. This is your MCQ. Okay, we discussed earlier that posterior interventricular artery or posterior descending artery, these are the same artery. It was in 80% people, it was a branch of, in 80% people, it was a branch of right coronary artery, right? In that case, okay, it supplied posterior one third of septum. And thus in that case, it is called right dominant people, right dominant, okay? But in 10% person people, it can arise from right circumflex artery in that case we, we call it left dominant sometime it can also arise in 10 percent from both arteries we call it co-dominance okay these arteries supply the posterior one third of the septum and also the inferior surface remember posterior surface can you recall this is the posterior surface of the heart this is the posterior surface this is the interventricular septum okay so we have posterior descending artery here it usually in 80% arise from the right coronary artery. In 10%, it can arise from the left coronary artery. If it arise from right coronary artery, we call right dominance heart. If it uh, arise from left, left artery, we call it left dominant. In 10%, it can arise from both of these. We call it co-dominance. It supply this one third, posterior one third. It can also supply the posterior surface of the left ventricle, left ventricle and posterior surface of the right ventricle. Look, the red part. I hope I'm clear. Pashto kiwar daga mauzo dar te tashre kum. Right to left coronary artery mung pa detail wili branch nam wili. Dal ta yaw istisna di posterior interventricular artery da. Ma ta asta wili chi di right coronary artery yaw branch posterior interventricular artery da. Chi daga branch sha ta girzi or posterior one third the septum ta supply ka wili. Pa 80% population ki daga di right coronary artery na razi. Dal ta mung wai right dominance khalak, right dominance heart. Magar plus person khalgo ki the left coronary artery na ham razi. Ye tawaiyo the left circumflex branch the left coronary artery. The tawai left dominance khalag. Plus person ki the the dwaro na ratlay si. Ye tawaiyo core dominant. Yani dwaro na core dominant. Daga daga branch cha to supply kabi posterior one third of the septum or posterior two third of the ventricle. Dil ta bad rashi darta. خب دادی تشریح میکنم یک استیز یک گفتم که پوستیر دیسندینگ آرتری یا پوستیر اینترمنتیکولر آرتری دایی سلکس میره دایی سلکس میاد دا اشتار فیصد مردم ای از رایت کورنری آرتری میاد کی را ما رایت دومینس مهم میگن دادا فیصد اسنو وجود داره که از لفت آمده میتونه از سرکمپلکس برانچ اینجا ای سرکمپلکس برانچ است اینجا آمده از این هم آمده میتونه ای دادا فیصد باز ما میگن ای مردم لفت دومینس هارد داره the daf is the diga imetona ke har do branch pasha was ora make him co dominance okay ichira supply make na ek posterior one third uh, septum supply make na wa diga is surface supply make i posterior surface ke as right ventricle ye ke se right ventricle tashkil shuda wa ye ke se left ventricle umedwar astum shuma i mauzura ba diqqat ko mida boshin i khil mauzur muhim bol diga dars mo taqriban ba ikhtamas ای چیزورا ما خواندیم آلی میم وینس درینیج ما گفتم کورنری سرکولیشن از دو چیز تشکیل شده یکی کورنری آرتری یکی وینس سیستم وینس سیستم چی میکنه خون ناپاک از عضلات قلب به قلب انتقال میده به به چمبرهای قلب دهلیز و بطنهای انتقال میده 85 فیصد خون از طریق کورنری سایرس انتقال میشه خلاصه اگر شما ای گپم بفهمین ای برتون خیلی کفایت میکنه فلان ترین ورید خون که هست او کورنری سایرس است 
coronary sinus continuation of great cardiac vein, 10, 85% of blood uh, runs to in left uh, atrioventricular groove. Okay. So I will uh, show you in the picture. This is uh, the coronary sinus. Okay. Guys, can you appreciate it? Okay. This is coronary sinus. It is a continuation of great cardiac vein. This is great cardiac vein. So coronary sinus lies in the posterior part of the heart. It drains into the right atrium. It drains into the right atrium. Okay. It has tributaries. It has branches. Which branches? Great cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, small cardiac vein. It's the small branches. You can appreciate in the picture. This is the middle cardiac vein. This is the small cardiac veins. This is the great cardiac vein. This all comes together and form the coronary sinus, which ultimately drain into the right atrium. What does it do? It drain the deoxygenated blood. Okay. What else? Uh, uh, coronary sinus 85%. Okay. The chair right atrium key. Great cardiac vein, the great cardiac vein, the anterior partner as the apex, 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 the middle cardiac vein, the posterior, the apex, small cardiac vein, the tool, the coronary sinus, the drain, the right atrium, the drain, the right atrium, the right atrium, the right atrium, the coronary sinus drain, 85%. This is the right question. This is the tributary, the shock, the great cardiac vein, the Apex heart, the middle cardiac vein, the right cardiac vein. Fakat no is the right cardiac vein. This is the right cardiac vein. This is the right cardiac vein. This is the right the Okay. We have other veins which are less, less significant, but we will discuss it anyway. Okay. Uh, it is uh, uh, anterior cardiac vein. It drain right atrium directly. Okay, it is in the anterior surface, uh, right vein, uh, right ventricle. We have uh, some uh, veins within the heart as well, within the muscle of the heart. It is called venae cardis minimi. What is it? Venae cardis minimi are minimal veins within the uh, myocardium. What does it do? It is small vein directly drain the blood in any chamber. It can drain hair, hair, hair in any chamber. Look, I will explain it here. So uh, we have venae cardiac hair, small, small venues, small, small. It drain directly from this part directly into the ventricle or the atrium. It doesn't matter. Okay, it has less significance. Just remember that coronary sinus drain eighty five percent of the blood. Okay, one thing I would like to mention: it can come in your exam. Which one of these is prone to injury? Which vein is prone to injury? You guys can answer very easily. This one is prone to injury. Why? This is great cardiac vein. It is located anteriorly. Near the apex, whenever you do the surgery of the mitral valve, mitral valve located here, it is the, this great cardiac vein, um, uh, it, it travels along the left ventricle and left atrium. Whenever you do mitral surgery or something, it is prone to injury. Just remember it, okay? Okay. We discussed that the most commonly occluded vessel, left coronary artery. The larger vessel, left coronary artery. Uh, the vein which is uh, prone to injury, great cardiac vein. Which vein drain 85% of the blood? coronary sinus okay so everyone this was today's lecture i hope um, i will uh, i will just stop the recording and then we will discuss further okay